And then he says, but I'm not worried about you, Mike, because whatever happens, whether you have a kid or not, it's not going to be better or worse. It's just going to be new. So Jen and I attempt to conceive for eight months, and it does not work, because like I said, my body is a lemon. <laughs> and my boys don't swim, which killed me, because if I'd known that in my 20s, I would have had a much better time. In my 20s, <laughs> I treated my sperm like it was plutonium, like, don't let that sperm anywhere near those eggs! Like, there'd be this infestation of tiny, neurotic, Mike Birbiglia toddlers, like, why would I slide down the slide when I can walk down the steps? <laughs> Turns out I do not have plutonium. I have flat soda. And, uh... <laughs> and my boys don't swim, which isn't surprising. I mean, I don't swim. <laughs> I, I, I swim, but in circles, and I'm always ordering hot dogs at the side of the pool which is not a quality you want in your sperm, that hungry, lethargic quality. You want your <laughs> sperm to be like, I swim from sea to sea, like the Ryan Lochte of sperm without all the fake robbery. But I found out, because <laughs> I, I, I went to Dr. Kaplan and he asked me to masturbate into a cup. And I said, that's rude. <laughs> and he said, no, it's a medical procedure called masturbating into a cup. <laughs> I said, if it's for science, sure, I get that. <laughs> two things about masturbating into a cup at the doctor. I will limit it to two. <laughs> I could talk about this for six hours. <laughs> One, everybody knows what's happening. <laughs> Everybody, <laughs> doctors, nurses, people in the waiting room, UPS guy down the hall. And you're trying to play cool. You're like, oh, yeah, Brexit. You know what I mean? Just like, <laughs> sea levels rising rapidly. Everyone's like, you're about to ejaculate in Tupperware. And <laughs> two, <laughs> they give you porn. And it's the most extreme porn I had ever seen. I was. <laughs> I was like, easy, medical porn. Like, here I was. All these years thinking I'm taking in the USDA recommended levels of porn. And they're like, you're going to need a lot more than that. You're going to need to take a multi. And so, so I go in and I do the thing. Dr. Kaplan calls me a few days later with the results. He says, Mike, you're going to have to come back in and masturbate into a cup <laughs> again. And now I'm like, is this a joke? I mean, really, because I'm in the jokes business. And actually, that would be a pretty good joke, where you convince a stranger to masturbate <laughs> into a cup, and then you're like, he did it. And then they're like, he did it? Yeah, now what do we do? Ask him to do it again. Ask him to do it again. Why would he do it again? I don't know. I don't know why he did it in the first place. This whole thing is a sham. 